Hey guys, I'm Slicks77 back with another episode of Infinite Heights. <clears throat> Technically, not on the Infinite Heights server. Single player creative. We haven't done something like this in a while. And I really wanted to build something. I've got that nice desert temple in the background. I really wanted to build something cool <clears throat> to bring to the new world. And I believe I knocked it out of the park. I want you guys to tell me what you think. If there's different blocks you guys might think that would go good with it or not it's right in front of me but before I turn around show you guys what it is I was looking through I was going to go in to look through some old songs to play when uh, YouTube actually recommended this song to me it's by the rusted media group it's who I typically would listen to it's called let me see if I can get this right could I copy and paste this Nightophobia, I think is how it's said. It's that. Um, but I took like a uh, like a multiple skip through to get the basis of the song, so I don't actually know what the whole song sounds like. But from what I did here, it sounds pretty good, and the screen art for it is amazingly awesome. So, even if you don't like the song, check out the screen art or any other Rust Media group. They called it a dubstep. I wouldn't really call it like a heavy dubstep from what I heard, but it, it is. I can hear it, but uh, here we go. So, what I have made here is this this pattern. It turned out to be a flower by accident. Um, what I did, oh, I'll put a link in the description for the music. What I did is I went on Minecraft Circle Generator. I'll put a link in the description for that. Uh, it's what I do for anything like, well, I want a general circle for. <clears throat> this is 30 blocks wide from that end to that end. And ignore the orange, the redwood planks. That's just to tell me the center of the edges and the center in the middle. So, I annoy myself a little bit by making this huge circle and filling it in by hand with black stained clay just to replace at least 80% of it with whatever the hell block I want to do. <coughs> Got my tooth pulled. It actually doesn't... Not pulled. Root canal done. It actually doesn't hurt. Surprisingly, and I got coffee today. Hmm. So that's where the beat kicks in. <clears throat> Anyhow, so what I started doing here is before I had the center lines made, I did this basic, uh, well, just this uh, shape, and that's the only original shape I've kept aside from the circle. And it wound up through here, connected around, and went back. So I just decided to do that four more times and see how they connected. And that's basically how I got this strip. Um, so I got those four circles. Then I cut out the middle, made it simpler. And I tried doing like an intricate pattern with the stonework. And that's when I finally realized I'm making a freaking flower. Okay, I can work with this. So, <clears throat> I don't know about you guys, but if I look at it a certain way, it looks like there's ripples in the petal to me. Maybe it's just an optical illusion where eyes are all fucked up. I, I don't know, but it, to me it just looks like a... It's supposed to be getting lighter, not darker. Um, I'm not really happy with the very center yet. This is red sand. Um, I have not done the red sandstone, didn't update the single player to use it. Hmm. This song's pretty good. I'm not... Oh.
Not really liking that either. Uh, let's just get rid of the red sand altogether. But then it feels like it's not completed. How about... You know what, I'm actually just gonna stick with what I had. I, out of the few things I just tried with you, I actually like what I had there better. Um, where's the red wood? There it is. There we go. So, <clears throat> the reason why I use the black clay for the circle is just so I can find lighter blocks to see what for it to stand out better. And I refuse to wool, use wool, which is a dark color, but the uh, the uh, details in the block are not to my liking. So I'm thinking about just carving away these edges. This is going to be a very center platform in a new build. I'm trying to. Do. I want to do something big. I I'm used to doing something. I know I make big builds. I was explaining this last episode. I make big builds, and now you're very intricately detailed, and with the little details and such. But I want a big build. I want like a huge tower meant just for one looking outside the building. That tower I have in front of my mountain. That's maybe the size. <clears throat> I'm not sure. So I think I did <clears throat> well here. I outlined the petals with a nice gray. It fits in with the smooth stone I think and plus it gives it kind of like a, a weathered look like it's been out in the sun since I will be building in the desert I kinda wanna give it that feel and also the petal is the sandstone which of course in the desert um song end oh yeah it did that was a pretty good song good thing it's on listen to repeat <clears throat> and uh the veins I really like with the smooth stone slabs. Um, the dots going through the petals were like last minute decision. I tried using yellow clay, it was the very first thing I thought about, but that looks terrible to me. I don't need anything that different in color. I thought about before I started this. Oh, I even tried sand, <clears throat> but what did I put it up before? I even tried sand, but you know, it's it's too similar <clears throat> in color. Particles aren't that noticeable. And then I was thinking about end stone. Whoop. Now I'm not liking that at all. Screw the end stone. Okay, that's cleared now. So, the dots I think are really good. Adds a little bit of detail. Then I tried doing, you know, the very center petal of a flower that spreads out on the corners between the petals to give it that darker color to it, darker feel. I think I did it very nicely. I like it a lot. So, let, let me remove a corner like a corner to see how I like it against the sand okay so that would be right here now <clears throat> um, also this is gonna be a challenge and now you're probably saying but slicks you just did the challenge of art you made the details yes I did it took a long time to do it but I made all the details I made the general shape and such but what's gonna be the challenging part is is that I'm thinking of making it divot downwards now <clears throat> I'm not sure how far downwards I'm gonna go bait uh, when I say that I mean like how much of a slope and so that's the reason also why I chose this block block selection
I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, so you're gonna have a slight ramp up, but maybe a stair or two with a half slab between them. And it would be in this shape, I don't know. Maybe it'll just be in the sand. I don't know how I'm, how I'm gonna bring all this out. I'm gonna have to do random shit. Anyhow, so that that's the reason why I chose those blocks. Because this, even though it's a smooth sandstone, technically it's a sandstone. And I wanna tell you guys, it actually pisses me off a little bit that, and let me show you the difference. Oh, right here. See, you got cobble. God, you know what? Smooth. Well, what's this gonna call it? Just call it stone. So, dang it. So, what we got here? Cobble. Sandstone. Now, see, the smooth stone, all flat, all smooth, just like this. The cobble, crumbly. Looks like it might fall apart, but yet stuck together. Same with the sandstone, except for the top. And that is what kind of makes me mad. Because I want this to be looking crumbly like the, like the cobble. I don't want it to have a smooth surface like the smooth stone. That's what the smooth sandstone is for. To get that smooth surface. I want to use cobble. I want this surface. That's why I want sandstone is to get this cobbly surface. And if I want the smooth stone, I'll cook the sand. I'll cook the stone. Cobble. But anyhow, sandstone. You got stairs out of that crap. Where is it? Right here. Sandstone stair, sandstone half slab somewhere in here. The birch, you got the stair, you got the half slab in places. Smooth stone. It's only half slab, but I can work that. Acacia logs. It's going to be the border. It does not need to be stair. It does not need to be half slab. It needs to be a block. The jungle planks. Stair and half slab. The sandstone that's going to be implemented in here. Stair and half slab. I can work with all these great. The one thing I'm going to have a challenge with is just trying to figure out how to implement the smooth stone slabs. It's going to be hard. And it's going to be weirdly shaped, but when I think I bring it all together, it's going to look badass. So, yes. Um, let me try something with you guys real quick. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Turn off the music, because what I'm about to do is not... Uh, Gonna be long enough for music, so I really like this outline. As you can see, I took out took out the clay from the petals, and I like how it blends into the sand. That's the whole point. Blended in the desert, looks great. So, <clears throat> but the problem is, I can't leave it like that and just put half slabs because of that. So, here's what I have to decide. And I'm going to do this with you guys. Either I build this in the ground and I just divot it down where it is. And I'm going to have like a perimeter around this thing or whatever I decide to do. Like put some nice palm trees or something. And it'll basically look like this. Or I can do stairs. And I'm going to do that real quick. Alright guys, I'm back. <clears throat> decided cobble would look best with this. As an outline, not for like what I have here. But just a, like an outline for this. And I've decided I'm not going to put it in the ground. This is actually going to be leveled up one time with the cobble. And there's going to be a walkway spanning out in four directions. So, oh, they invited me to two league games. And my tooth really starting to hurt now between all this. So, <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed this new design I'm hoping to bring onto the server when the new world comes out. I'm really excited about it. I have enough sandstone, I have enough stone, and I have enough wood to build this. However, what I'm going to build after it, I don't 
particularly no and I'm gonna need more materials so I'll see you guys next time